Thank you for joining this lesson. We are still predicting the KCSE 2022. And, uh, we are continuing with the pre mock of CAPS ABET I. Number 11 of the question paper, paper 2, is on statistics. We said that a statistics is a commonly tested area whereby we either find statistics 1 or statistics 2 in either papers. And uh, it's good we be careful with the statistics. For example, here we have a grouped data where we are told that uh, the, the data below shows maths scored by 8 from 4 students in more low district mathematics contest. Therefore, the maths are shown. We are told to calculate the mean absolute deviation. So to calculate the mean absolute deviation, we first of all get the mean of these marks. And to get the mean, we had all the marks. And we divide with the number of students. Divide with the number of students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We divide with 8 students. Therefore, the mean will be... When we had 44, plus 32, plus 67, plus 52, plus 28, plus 39, plus 46, plus 64. This gives us 372 divided by 8 students. So the mean score is 46.5. So when we talk of absolute deviations, when we talk of absolute deviations, we can first of all get the deviations, the deviations, whereby deviation is gotten by each value minus mean. How each value is deviating from mean, then after that we get the absolute deviation now. So the first deviation will have 44 minus the mean which will be negative 2.5. So negative 2.5, the absolute value of this is just 2.5. Or rather, the deviation without a negative sign, just the absolute value. So that's 2 minus 46.5. This gives us negative 14.5, and the absolute value is 14.5. The next one is 67 minus 46.5. We get 20.5, which is just 20.5. The next value is 52 minus 46.5. We get 5.5. This will be 5.5. The next value after 52, we go to 28 minus 46.5. We get negative 18.5. This is 18.5. The other value is when we take 39 minus the mean of that is 46.5. We get negative 7.5. So 7.5 is the absolute value. The other value is when we take 46 minus 46.5 giving us 0 0.5 negative. So 0 0.5 is the absolute value. After 46 we go to 64 minus 46.5 this gives us 17.5 so the absolute value is 17.5 so these are the absolute deviations so we can get their mean now the mean of absolute deviation so the absolute deviations added and we divide with the total number such that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the 8 absolute deviations 2.5 plus 14.5, plus 20.5, plus 5.5, plus 18.5, plus 7.5, plus 0 0.5, plus 17.5. This gives us 87 divided by 8. 10.8. Therefore, when we talk of mean absolute deviation, then we mean the mean of all deviations having taken their absolute value such that if a deviation is negative, 
we just lift the absolute value of that negative deviation. So that is how we get mean absolute deviation. Thank you for following. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Share the link.